Hello, and now we're going to be going through a compiler project that I wrote when I was in college for my system software class. This is probably the second favorite project I did in college. Um, we basically write a compiler for the PL0 language, and the compiler is completely written in C. So this is the repo. Feel free to check out the code and how you run it. Um, there's a detailed readme about what each file does and what you can do to run the program. I'll go through the basis of each part of the source file, then we'll actually go through the code and run it for you, and then you'll see some examples of test inputs that I do. So first, the, the diff, there was three different parts that we had to write. One was a virtual machine, the next was a lexicographical scanner, and the third part was a parser and code generator. Now this isn't necessarily how they run in order in a compiler, it's actually a little bit backwards, but this is what we basically had to do for each part. So the first part that we wrote was the virtual machine, and this is done in two cycles, a fetch cycle and an execute cycle. And basically, here is the instruction set architecture that we are gonna handle with this compiler. We have lit, which just pushes a constant literal value onto the top of the stack. OPR, which is the operation to be performed at the data at the top of the stack load, which loads the value to the top of the stack, store, which stores that value at the top of the stack, call, calls a new procedure at code index, inc, allocates this many, increments it by m, jump, jump instruction top stack, write stock, stop, write the top stack element to the screen and write, read in an input from the user and then store at the top of the stack. So these are the ones that we'll be really looking in when we're doing our test input files. The second part was the lexicographical scanner. This is using the EBNF tree as follows. We have program, block. Block has constant declarations, variable declarations, and procedure declaration statements. Here's the const, here's the var, here's the procedure, and here's our statements. We can do call, begin, end, if, then, else, while, do, read, and write. Here's our conditions. Our operators, our expressions, our terms, our factors, our numbers, our identifiers, and then very down to the very bottom level is digits and letters. And here's the lexical conventions that we're going to be using for PL0. Um, this is all in the code, and we can go through that in a little bit. And the third part was the parser and code generator. This is where we started putting all of it together. Um, and basically now I'll run through how the program works. So we look through the compiler. This is where all the source code is and the test files. So data.h is just storing a lot of variables that are used across all these C files. Main is where the program starts and this is what's really run at the beginning. And main calls the three other C files which are lex, parser, and vm.c. When you compile this, if you look through the readme, you can see that you can either just run it with a input file, or you can run it with these different command line switches, dash L, dash A, and dash V. And you can do zero, or you can do all three, you can do any order of whatever you want to do. Basically, this is just telling you what will be printed out to the console based on your switches. So let's go through it again. So if you do dash LAV, we're just looking through that in the arguments, and that'll just say, okay, we're gonna go ahead and print out that to the console as well. So how the program works is first we call lex. This is a lexicographical scanner, and basically we'll take an input file, and the input files look like this. It's an actual PL0 program written with procedures, variables, functions. And we will take that and we'll go through Lex and we'll create an output, which goes into a file that looks similar to this. So this would be the lexicographical output of that program. Then we take that output from Lex and we use that as the input for parse. Then parse runs through it, takes this Lexeem list, and creates 
instructions that'll look like this. Then the last code that runs is VM, which takes that parse output as its input file and will show this in its output. The actual instructions that will be written, these are the line numbers of the instruction, the actual OP, L, and M, and then it'll show the entire program running on the stack. And I'll run through this together with you as well. So I go ahead and include all of these input files. We've got 12 different ones, which are 12 different PL0 programs. So if you don't necessarily want to make your own test input files, feel free to run through those. You should be able to understand them pretty easily. And I include all of the correct lex output, parse output, and VM output files that will be created. Whether you use the dash LNAV just means that you're actually going to print these output files to the console at the same time. So you can view it instead of opening up a file. All right. So now let's go a little bit through the code. Um, so that's how it calls each flag, the LAV. And then after we call those three programs, lex, parse, and vm in order, um, we will go through those output files that I showed you and we'll just actually just run through them and print them to the console. So that's what the dash LAV does. So now if we go through in order, lex, asks you for the input file and creates that Lexeme list by going through, checking if it's an alpha, going through if it's tabs or new lines, and just going through those and checking each symbol. Parse, parses through those symbols, the Lexeme list, and we'll go through that EBNF tree and generate the code that we're going to be running for the VM. And then the VM actually takes those instructions and runs through and does the operations on the stack. It'll actually execute the code and print out each instruction as where you go through it. So now let's go ahead and go through how we can run this. So this is what you basically want to do to compile it. You can do GCC or CC, um, compile your object file, and then you want to compile main, lex, parser, and vm.c. Then you can either just run it by dot slash your object file, and that'll just use the input test files. It'll ask you to name it. Or you can go ahead and put your dash LAV. And you just do dash L, just A, just V, L and A, A and V, whichever combination you want to do. Um, that'll just make it easier for you to read through the, the console instead of having to open up a text file. So now let's go ahead and do that. I'm already in here. Make sure you have your test input files in the same directory in here. So in the, if you just clone the repo, you'll notice that I put them all under here, this test file folder. You actually want to drag these input test files into this directory when you go ahead and test it. So then when you do it, after you, you do just this, and it'll ask the name of your input file. So you can do test.text. And we can see, you just have to resize it a little bit so you can see it. Here is the actual program that we have the test input file. Because we're doing writes. So we do six, seven, eight writes. So we have eight different numbers here. This is the dash L's output where we're printing the Lexeme list. This is the dash A. And there is no program, so it'll state that if there is none. And here's the dash V where we're printing out the actual instructions we ran and the program running on the stack. So now I'll go through this program with you and go through a couple of the test input files with you.